God, but are you ugly. Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Uh... You're not a ghoul. Your pranks won't work on me, Smooth Skin. They won't work on Jason either. Uh, your skin looks pretty smooth to me, pal. Stop wasting my time, Smooth Skin. Go waste Jason's. Um. Okay. Oh, make sure the flashlight is on, I guess. What the hell's going on here, anyway? Okay, just came in over there. What if I take a look around, do you, pal? Uh, test site requires key. Oh, hello. Sorry, we don't talk to outsiders. Talk to Jason if you have business here. Well, thanks for opening the door. Jason will deliver us from the pain of this world. Okay. So he's like a cult leader? The ceiling looks so weird. Is that the outside shining through? What are you guys working on in here? Sorry, we don't talk to outsiders. Talk to Jason if you have business here. Hey. Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? Um... What's the great journey? We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland. Especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land. A place of safety and healing. A paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the great journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. Mm-hmm. What about these demons? The demons appeared from nowhere. Except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering like sunlight on water. They set upon us, as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely, and killed a few, but at such cost. Nearly half of us died, or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. Um, I killed all the demons. Praise the Creator, and bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. Uh, you're welcome. Head to the rip. Can't wait. What'd that say? 
Uh, head to the Repcon basement and talk to Jason Bright. Speak with Jason Bright, leader of the Repcon Ghouls. Okay. Did you guys, as you guys ran off, did you leave me any stuff? Rat away. Rat axe. Coffee mug. Empty lockers. A bed I could sleep in. Well, shit. Employee terminal. Welcome to Rob. Uh, okay, I don't care about any shit. Uh, is there anything else around here? I uh, have a kinetic accelerator implant. Sure, that sounds nice. Whatever it is. First aid box. I'll take those stim packs. I dream of electric sheep. What? Find a doctor who is able to install cybernetic implants. Find training manuals to unlock cybernetic surgery for more doctors. Okay. I came up here. No. Yeah, that's right. I thought there was one over here. Rebound and steady. Eh. There's a key. Aha. Uh -huh. I guess they've been crashing in here. Uh, I guess I'll take the ammo. That. Okay. This goes to Repcon facility. Well, I haven't been this way, so fuck it. So I guess they all ran down to the basement. Jason Bright and his Bright followers. Look at the map. I've apparently been here. And, okay. There's a door very close by that I should go to. Oh! Shit. I just fell through the floor. Hello. Flamer pistols. Might as well repair them. Da, da, da. Where is the plasma rifle? Alright, very good. Shit off the fucking shelf. Oh, hello. Hey, hey, I want that thing. I don't know why I want it, but I want it. Wonder glue. It's in here. Wonder glue. What's up here? Conductor and the pilot lights. Okay. Correspondence. First off, let me say that everyone here is really excited about the merger. Uh, do they really make you invisible? Blah blah. Wait, there's one more thing on here. 
private server access. Um, please make sure your people are ready for the Robco visit. We are done negotiating what the project is worth, and the better the experiment goes tomorrow, the better for all of us. Just make sure that someone is punished for this. This has significantly reduced our position with Robco. Smokes. Right, where the fuck am I trying to get? It's behind me. It's not over here. I was just over here. Going through there. I'm not going up there. Aha, here we go. This is probably it. Wait. This is not it. Well, this is where I first came in the building, isn't it? Okay, yeah. Just over here. What the fuck, man? <laughs> uh, how the hell do I get over there? Research labs, test site, basement. <laughs> Head to the Rivcom basement. You know what? I'm just gonna go to the basement. Fuck it.
fuck was that? I guess I do want to go this way? Break down to 12 gauge. Accept. Yes. And then let's create 20 gauge. Wait, did I just break all down my 20 gauge? I think I did. Wait, or not? Ammo. I got 44 20 gauge, okay. And I have no more 12 gauge, correct? Alright. Let's go ahead and switch over to that caravan shotgun. Whatever the fuck it is. Sturdy caravan shotgun, there we go. Activate reloading bench. I don't think I need to do anything else right now. But, uh, let's keep this out. Empty foot locker. Okay, that, where does this go? The Mojave Wasteland, okay. Assume this guy's not hostile. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Um. Hmm. What is the great far beyond? Or what is the far beyond? I have glimpsed it only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. It is a place of light and healing, and I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. So, you're going to make your great journey on these rockets? Yes. The rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. Let's talk about Chris. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed... lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us, to ensure the success of the Great Journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity, and his inability to make the journey himself. 
It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the great journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you and Chris to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. You are redeemers both. Mm-hmm. So you're gonna leave Chris behind. Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess that's none of my business. Chris shall be declared the saint of the great journey before we depart. I hope this will ease his sadness. Alright. You sure these things are actually going to fly and not just crash your ass into the ground? I understand your concerns, friend, and I thank you for voicing them. But the Creator's will for us has been made manifest. Okay. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Right, so... You want me to talk to Chris about finding more bits for your rocket? Hey there. Hey. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. Yeah. So the Great Journey will use those rockets, right? Obviously. It's taken months, but I've nearly got them in working order. Soon they'll take us to the far beyond. I was skeptical at first, of course, being a man of science. But Jason is certain, and I believe in Jason. All right, so, how can I help you? I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent, and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom-built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. So... any idea where I can find these things? Uh, I guess I'll track down the... igniting agent. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. Uh, can you give me any tips <laughs> for my current task? Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up. If they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. Right. Can you give me any other tips? I'd start by visiting local junk merchants or traders and see if that turns anything up. Alright, that sounds better than visiting some super radioactive site. And, uh, hmm. What do you do here, exactly? I'm the Flock's resident engineer. I've always been good with machines. Jason says the Great Journey would have been impossible without me. Of course, my skills aren't much use unless I have the right materials. That's where you come in. Right. Why don't they let you work down on the launch pad? When I joined the flock, Jason made it clear that he wanted me to supervise the repairs, not do them myself. It would be a waste of my gifts to work on just one system at a time. From up here, I've been able to supervise the entire project. Mm-hmm. I suspect the radiation might be, uh, lethal, Chris. I thought we were past all that smooth skin. But you just can't resist the chance to mess with me. Typical human. I was human once, you know. Grew up in Vault 34, northeast of here. Nice upbringing if you like assault rifles and target practice. But oh, you prefer machines that don't shoot people? Not so nice, then. Who should maintain the vault's reactor, Hauser, 
Mitchell, no. Make it Haversome. He likes machines. Haversome won't mind getting irradiated. Haversome won't mind mutating. He's already ugly as it is. Haversome won't mind when his hair starts falling out after a few years. There's no connection, Haversome. You're neurotic. Right. So you left your vault because you were uh, experiencing hair loss? Bald. You call this bald, smooth skin? I'm a monster. A monster! Hmm. I guess I should get going. Bye. Huh. I kinda thought I was gonna be done with you people. I didn't think I'd have to go out looking for shit. Alright. Let's check the old quest log. Find atomic fuel. I already talked to Jason Bright, pretty sure. Find atomic fuel for the rockets. Wait. Can I get that other Have you found the components we discussed? Uh, can I check with something else? All right. What would you rather be doing? Thrust control module. All right. Anything else? Uh, can you give me any tips for this one? Scavengers wouldn't know the value of the modules just by looking at them. If you know any junk dealers in the area, I'd start there. Okay. Later. Do I still have both quests? No, it switches it out. That's kind of annoying. Uh, maybe I can go talk with Jason again. Where the hell did he go, anyway? Oh, what, what? It's, it's sending me to a scrapyard. That's convenient. This is a shortcut. Wild Wasteland trait covers a few normal, ordinary occurrences in Zany Wacky Encounters. Okay. Let's turn off the flashlight. Where am I exactly? the scrap yard. There's still like wild ghouls out here. Yes. Oh, looks like he found me. Fuck it. Town. Oh no, this doesn't do repair. Right. 
Did I notice that thing up there before? Can I even get up there? I can. Come on. Come on. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Am I gonna fall to my death? Probably. Come on. Alright. Come on. Guess this isn't happening. Fine. Frame rate lag. Oh, what the hell? What are you doing over here? Ah, oh, wasted around. More at me. Nah, it's okay. Are you fresh? Plasma rifle. It is worth 530 bucks. So I'll carry it. And where's some beer? Or wine gives you strength. Hello. Were you here before? I don't remember them being here before. Hmm, what's up here? Another one of these guys. Uh, cat eye, low light vision. I'll take that. Flamer fuel, sure. Plasma rifle. And I'm getting irradiated by something. Doctor's bag, yeah. What is giving me the, the rads anyway? Oh, that's what's giving me the rads. Take the sure shot, or the one that's gonna give me more damage. Oh, uh, now I have radiation poisoning. Okay. Fuck balls. <laughs>